Students, let us now learn how to move a file or folder. Moving a file or folder means shifting it from its original location, source, to another location, destination. To move a file or folder, follow these steps. Click on any file or folder that you want to move. Click on the Organize button and select Cut option from the drop-down menu. Select the folder where the file or folder is to be moved. Now click on the Paste option from the Organize drop-down list. You will observe that the file or folder has been moved from the source location and shifted to the destination folder. Alright, let me also tell you that to rename a file or folder, right-click on it and select Rename option from the shortcut menu. Type the new name and press the Enter key. Now let me tell you how to delete a file or folder. To delete a file or folder, follow the given steps. Click on the file or folder that you want to delete. Click on the Organize button and select Delete option from the drop-down menu. A message box appears on the screen asking for the confirmation to delete the file. Select Yes to confirm. You will find that the selected file or folder has been deleted. Students, if you press Shift plus Delete, then files or folders are deleted permanently. Let me now share an interesting fact with you. To select consecutive groups of files, click on the first file, hold down the Shift key and click on the last file. Let's now find out how to restore a file or folder. To restore a deleted file from the Recycle Bin, open the Recycle Bin folder, right-click on a file and select Restore option. The file name disappears from the Recycle Bin window and gets restored at its original location. You can also click on Restore All Items button at the top to restore all the files to their original place. Make sure that no files are selected. Similarly, you can click on Empty the Recycle Bin button to delete all files permanently. Now we will learn how to find a file or folder. Windows offers a number of ways to find files and folders. Search box offers the most direct way to locate a file. Use search box if you are looking for common file types. You remember all or part of the name of the file or folder you want to find. You know the date when you last modified a file. Click on Start button. You will feed the search box located at the bottom of left pane. Type either a part or complete name of the file or folder or type a word or phrase that is present in the file. As you type the items that match your text will appear on Start menu. Click on the desired file or folder. It will open in a new window. Click on See More Results link to get a detailed list of searched file or folders. The Search Results window will open. Now just click on a search result to open it. In case you know only a part of the file name, you can use wildcard characters to locate all files or folders that contain that part in their name. Asterisk and question mark are the two wildcard characters commonly used in searching information. Asterisk means any type and number of characters in its place. Let's take an example. L star dot star will search all files whose names start with L followed by any number of characters and has any extension. Example letter dot doc lottery dot ppt locality dot txt etc. Star dot doc will search for all the files whose extension is dot doc word files. L star dot doc will search all the files whose extension is dot doc and their name begins with the letter L. 
question mark means any one character in its place question mark dot star will search all files whose names contains only one character example l dot doc r dot pps e dot txt etc kips question mark dot doc will search for all the files whose names begin with kips followed by any one character and extension is doc example kips1 doc kips2 doc etc let me now give you a tip you can also find a file or folder by clicking the search box at the top of every window and typing the relevant keyword or text the various editions of windows are microsoft windows 3.11 windows 95 windows 98 windows millennium windows xp professional windows 2003 windows vista and windows 7 and windows 8 Now let us learn how to customize the desktop. Windows is quite flexible and provides options to change the settings of desktop according to your choice. Follow the steps to change the color scheme of the computer screen. Right click on the blank area of desktop and select the personalize option. A dialog box will open. Click on the window color option located at the bottom of the dialog box. Select any color to change the window's borders. Start menu and taskbar. Select enable transparency option. The window glass borders. Start menu and taskbar will become transparent. Set the color intensity option. It will affect on window glass borders. Start menu and taskbar's color strength. Click on Show Color Mixture option to set the hue, saturation, and brightness option to give color effect. Click on the Advanced Appearance Settings option. Windows Color and Appearance dialog box will open. Now click on the Color List box and select any color of your choice. Similarly, click on Font List box and change the font settings. Click on OK button. You will find a change in the appearance of window. Click on Apply button and then click on OK. Let's now talk about the desktop gadgets. Windows contains many programs called gadgets, which offer information at a glance and provide easy access to frequently used tools. Windows Seven gadgets are calendar, clock. CPU meter, currency, weather, feed headlines, slideshow, picture puzzle, and window media center. WinZip gadget. Okay, now we will learn how to add the gadgets on desktop. Number one, right-click on the blank area of the desktop and select Gadgets option. Number two, the gadgets window will open. Number three, double-click the gadget that you want to place on the desktop. Number four, the gadget gets placed on the right side of the desktop. Clock displays the time. To change the clock name and clock style, click the Options button and make the desired changes. Slideshow displays a continuous slideshow of pictures on your computer. Click the Options button and select Picture Folder. Speed and transition effect between pictures. Weather gives the weather information either in Celsius or Fahrenheit of any place around the world. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. Windows is an operating system that acts as an interface between the user and the computer. Windows Explorer is an application that helps in viewing and organizing files or folders on a computer. Windows contains the many programs called gadgets which offer information at a glance and provide an easy access to frequent